Saying no one likes your daddy is hardly likely to scar anybody. Most people seem to like mine and a fat lot of good it did either of us as he was worked close to death by his boss. And the playing fields of Eton precede the chance of the den. No one likes us, we don't care, but cost-benefit analysis says put on a veneer as they talk down to us with their condescending Eton manners. They'll happily see you dead and your kids' lives don't matter. The local schools marketised and academised, offering 57 different varieties of shit, milking the budget and breaking the spirit. And oh, how we agonise over that meaningless choice. Magic carpet, shit. Magic circle, shit. Toady young shit, our kids' lives aren't worth shit, and we sit blowing bubbles, look in the fucking mirror. It was on our watch, and we were robbed. Homes, pension, health, and schools, our kids' inheritance lost, while we tug our forelocks to the fucking Reese Moggs and their condescending Eton manners, smiling down from multi million pound penthouse investments on zero hours slaves with first class degrees, sofa surfers with mountains of debt, our kids. Meanwhile, on another settee, Abbott and Portillo cuddle up on the TV. Politics played out for all to see with the polite rules of the public schools debating societies. Because heaven forbid that politics becomes personal. It's not your kids in shit schools. It's not your kids in shit jobs. It's not your kids with no homes. So of course it's not personal. You're on TV. We see you, but you don't see us. Just like Chucker doesn't see us in the swanky clubs where they take out the trash so he won't spoil his evening while he's flashing his cash. But he'll speak up for us if we remember our place and accept our lot with Kipling's good grace. He'll argue our case from his privileged middle ground. He hopes we won't notice he's still talking down. So acknowledge your betters, be nice to their sprogs, call off the dogs and God save the Reese Moggs.